Hi everyone, I'm Laura Silverman and I'm here today to give you seven reasons to be riveted by my new book, Recommended For You. Number one, Recommended For You is set in an independent bookstore. If you love reading about books and people who love books, this is definitely a story for you. Number two, Recommended For You takes place in a mall during the holiday season. This festive and chaotic backdrop provides endless room for hijinks and shenanigans. Number three, the love interests Jake and Shoshana are both Jewish. I've always wanted a Jewish holiday rom-com and I hope you'll enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Number four, Recommended For You features a hate to love romance between two rival booksellers. Jake and Shoshana must compete to win a $250 bookseller bonus and they do not hold back on trying to one up each other. Do you love banter, repartee, and mounting tension? So do I and there's plenty of it in this book. Number five, strong female friendships. Recommended For You has a large and diverse cast of awesome female characters. Shoshana's best friends, Cheyenne and Geraldine, are some of my favorite characters I've ever written, and Shoshana's boss, Myra, is the incredible mentor we all wish we could have had. If you're looking for ladies who support each other, you'll find them here. Number six, disability representation. I live with chronic pain and fatigue, and it was important to me to include disabled characters in conversations about accessibility in my book. Shoshana's boss, Myra, uses a wheelchair, there's a character with low vision, and one of my favorite scenes in the book centers around an accessibility discussion. Number seven, inspirations. What inspired me to write Recommended for You? I drew from some of my favorite movies and TV shows, 10 Things I Hate About You, The Office, You've Got Mail, Clueless, Superstore, New Girl, and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Do you like any of those shows? If so, you might like my book too. Those are all of my reasons to be riveted for Recommended for You. What will yours be? You'll have to read to find out. Thanks, y'all.